My name is Jimmy. His name is Jake. We're joined by Big Dumb, and we have a special nightly edition of the Dumb Dumb. Jake, how you doing? It's a dumb ep because Poppy Gordo is going away to plan his wedding. Boo! All the women turn off the show. What if I was to type Poppy Gordo into Google Translate uh, into um, from uh, Spanish to Dutch? What would it be? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a tongue twister to get the episode started. Uh, answer it. Jake, we got some sports. We don't. Uh, this is a sports-free episode. We're getting Thank dumb. God. Let's get dumb. Jimmy put his son's finger in his bum. Mine or his. Jim, yeah. U.S. Air Force plane who spent two hours drawing a phallic pattern in the sky near Russian military facilities says dick and balls drawn in the sky was an accident. The sky penis was drawn near Tartus, a Syrian city where Russia has a naval base according to Italian media outlet La Repubblica. So this guy says he didn't do it on purpose. It was just happening to fly in the shape of a dick and balls. He drew a penis in the sky. But not on purpose. Whose side are you on? I'm against... <laughs> I was going to say I'm against the U.S. Air Force, but I don't think I want to say that. I mean, why aren't we doing more of this? Like, if this gets them upset, it seems better than shooting at them. Like, if the U.S. military is going to fly their plane around Russia, would you rather them shoot them or just draw dick and balls? We really want to assert our dominance. Penis. Penis. Depends what type of penis you draw. To yeah. Be honest. Yeah. Like, if you draw a little stubby one, that's funny. I like drawing them with the big heads. I wouldn't get that in Europe. That's like circumcised penis. Does yours say that? <laughs> My sheet does not have any of that. All right, here's another story. Paintballs to be shot at Dutch wolves in a bid to make them last. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. This is this a real headline? Yes. Paintballs to be shot at Dutch wolves in a bid to make them less tame. Dude, you know what this is. Why don't you just start biting them? This is our second park ranger story that's been park rangers are bored and having fun i think the parks and rec dudes opened it up that park rangers are finally open being like yeah our job's pretty ridiculous we're basically cops to animals why would you want them to be less tame oh my god the use of paintballs will make it easier to, <laughs> to identify which ones have been hit <laughs> <laughs> there's just one asshole wolf <laughs> that's covered in paint <laughs> that stinks or, man. or like the guy who got the yellow paintball on the Army Force stinks at shooting. There is a name in this article. The director of the Hogue Vel Velu Park. The name is no joke, seven words long. Okay. Seeger Emanuel Baron van Verstertwurst. Rank that name. Three. Wait, the whole thing? Two, one. Two. Two and a half. It's too much. I rebound. Dick Papa. Dick Papa. That's a. Uh, Poppy Gordo in Dutch. Dickie Papa. Dickie Papa? D-I-K-K-E, Papa. Dickie Papa. Dickie Papa. I'll take that. In English, it's Fat Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, I know we're getting silly this episode, but we do have an almost a breakdown, and you were part of this? Oh, are we doing this story? Okay, how about it? This paraglider guy, who's a famous real estate agent, I guess. <laughs> this seems fake. He's flying over this meadow and in a canal sees a car with a woman yeah. half out the window. So he lands in his power power glide and stuff. Like his powered uh, paraglider. I'm telling the story. My bad. That's yeah. not me. You ruined my whole thing. I was going to say like Market Garden since we're doing Dutch theme stuff. So say it. Operation Market Garden. Okay. And now he's identified that, yes, a car is in the water with a woman. Yeah. And he says, do you need help? Right. To which she replies, oh my God. My God, I fell in my car in here. I fell with my car in here. Oh my God, I fell in my car in here. To which he says, ah, and saves her. But we're suspect about the roads. Me and Zach don't believe this story to be true. Too much going on. Where was she driving? Where was she driving? There's no roads. There's like one dirt road on the other side of the canal. And this guy doesn't even save her. Isn't it another guy? Yeah, there's like another dude on the other side of the canal that's like, hey, I got her. We've all decided we can talk about this because we think the lady's fine. She gets saved in the video. She might be traumatized. So let's just play the video of her saying, oh my God, I fell in my car here. Oh my God, I fell with my car in here. I fell in my car in here. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it sound like she fell in her car. Her car was in here and then she fell. And then it. she just fell. She's just floating in the car. Rescue dog named Van Gogh creating art with his tongue. What's this? Is this your dilapidating prophecies or whatever? 
When you get named something and you start doing something. Nominative determinism. Dog named Van Gogh starts painting. No, I think they knew that he was a painter and then they named him Van Gogh. It was a rescue. Dog thinks his name is Bombo, for all he knows. 55 students may have to retake their SATs after they were lost from a UPS truck. That's bullshit. Like, do you think some kid got involved here? Like, they, yeah. they've jacked up their SATs and they... Yeah. Really? This is a heist. What's that Scarlett Johansson movie? Perfect score where they steal the tests. They hack the computers. I think it's called Perfect Score. Scarlet. I've never seen it. She wears like a belt in it the whole time. The whole yeah. time? Hey, in college, my history teacher, our midterms or our finals were in her trunk and her car got robbed. So we all got B pluses. That was awesome. It's pretty nice. Turns out it was me and my buddy who robbed her car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. He's just joking. Student Ezra Ponzio. Can we say a student's name on here? One, two, <laughs> Three, Eleven. Eight. <laughs> That's the perfect name. Zoe Pons. He could go by Zoe Pons. There's no Zoe. He could go by Zoe Pons. Student Ezra Ponzio said that many more tests are also invalid because they could have been tampered with. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you just sucked ass on your test. The other tests are missing. You just stunk. Oh, here's one. Two Utah cities ranked worst to survive a dragon invasion. What would be like the best to survive a dragon invasion? Caves? Anywhere with a cave. I think dragons like caves, right? Well, if you let the dragon in your cave, then it would be <laughs> awful. But if there's caves in general that the dragon doesn't know about, you can't find the story. I don't have the Utah story. It's not sports. Here it is. Thank you. Oh, have you seen this? Two Utah cities ranked among worst to survive a dragon invasion. I have it right here. You have this story twice? New rankings from Shane Co. What are they up to? Is that a company? Jake, your wiener ever not work? That's how you're kicking it. A lot of men struggle with erectile dysfunction. Even one of the men in this room. Take care of yourself at Roman. Employee of the week is, is ju we just realized we hired someone to do video games and there might be the worst video game player in the world. Kind of like when we do nighttime dum dum dum. Right. It's like uh, not top 10. Right. Joe's employee of the week. The man loves video games and he's awful. Look at this. Oh my God. Yankee Stadium, where's the ball? He's really bad at video games. I'm, ba I'm bad at video games. Well, we're good. We're teammates in one going endeavor. Coming soon. Not Jake, though. Buckets. Make it in the mug. Which one? Last shot. I'm too long every time. That was the weekly dumb. Today's episode of The Dumb Dumb was brought to you by E.D. If your boner isn't working how you want it to, and you want it to start doing what you want it to do, you can go to Get Roman. Right now, Roman has a special offer for our listeners. Use this link to get 20% off your first order. Just go to row.co slash dumb today. That's ro.co slash dumb for 20% off. He doesn't want to be your first. I just want to be your next. Unless I'm not really next. I just want to try some sex. Just think about thinking of me on your list.